No KO. That was just my um, attempt to show you how, from the very basic, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm sorry that last video it uh, cut out after 116. This is Alejandro Ramirez, and um, uh, Ale you can call me Alex. Some people call me Pastor Alex, uh, minister from the Church of God. Otherwise, I um, serve as music director and um, musician also for the, my local church, playing piano, guitar, bass, and teaching others to do the same. Here we go. I'm going to show you how I uh, set up OBS. I'm running OBS 26.1.0. I found out that that was the secret to be able to get it to show the virtual camera. And we had to do a workaround, which I will get to in a minute. So, I've added, or taken the liberty to add the display capture, so that you can see what I'm doing. By um, over here, first we have scenes. You want to create a new scene. You click on that. It'll ask you for the name of the scene, and from there on, you start adding sources to that scene. So right now, this source is, put the me view up, so that you can see that one. That me view, it was arrived at by clicking on plus on the add on the sources. Click the video capture device. Created a new. You can create new and that after you've add, created new, you can add the existing. I asked um, what the device is, and I use my front facing, well, I guess you could say rear facing, but no, front facing camera. And that's it. Use the preset that you choose. And I already have that, so I clicked cancel instead of OK. That's the me view. Next is the audio input capture. Uh, that's the one that I showed you uh, at the beginning. Because without audio capture, add plus and the sources, audio input capture, you have no sound. Somehow I uh, must have sabotaged that sound either on the OBS or on the shiny white boxes um, I show you instant that I have. No worries. We have um, audio input capture and video capture devices. That's the basic that you need for for video. Otherwise, you can show display capture to show what's on the screen, or to show a specific app, or window capture. Window capture just shows uh, specific uh, apps, and display capture tends to show more what's on your screen. So let's tr let's try this out. This is how my end piece will look and I switch between me here and between the me view me show how to and me using the uh, hotkeys while I'm teaching class. But do a blank how to I have the audio input capture so you can still hear me, hopefully. So uh, here's how it will go. First of all, we add the the aerial view of my piano. I detail what in what I have available. When I'm using voice capture device as well. We create new, and from there the device will be whatever else your aerial view is. I usually rename these. Just so that I, it's easier. So with this you right click on it and um, I'm going to transform that. Rotating at 180 degrees. That looks a lot better. 
the gray and black zone or gray and dark gray zone that's no so no show zone I of course want to also transform and edit transform on the, and I right click first right click and transform and then edit transform I'm gonna put this on the side over here so I can see what I'm doing on the crop top and crop bottom and crop in increments to see what's gonna happen and then um, I'm cropping the top and, and the bottom looks like it or it looks like it went down now I'm gonna crop out the random numbers on the top to see what is the actual value large value oh, too large value you're almost there 360 let me say 370 I'll try 375 here we go let me bring that back in and close now next we'll add I'm gonna put in a shameless plug for Ridiculous 4 by Jamal Hartwell and gospelmusicians.com with that make sure that I'm not using a MIDI source I um, can use the GM sound if I want I mean I'm I am using a MIDI source excuse me I refresh that and the MIDI source and click the instrument that I have that way it will display the notes when I play and I'm kinda short right now so I can't uh, I'm not used to playing Um, random cores on this height back here. I'm gonna go to window capture and create a window capture called Ridiculous Four Keys. So that's looking more like what we need. To the tran right, right click transform, edit transform, push over, crop the top, crop the left, I mean crop the top and crop the bottom. I did a crop of 50 on the top. I'm gonna do a top crop of 120 on the bottom. And that was just a wild guess. Not wild, I'm used to a bit doing this, but now when you use your your arrows, it it'll um inch up or inch down on the selected boxes or inch to the sides, which can be useful. Okay, we have this gigantic view of the piano which is I, I love to use this when I'm showing the kids um, specifically oh we want to lock these specifically when it's, I'm showing them um, ear training when I'm showing them sight reading I want to make larger the new window that I'm going to create which is going to be score so I would minimize or I mean not minimize I would make smaller the other ones in this case I'm gonna make the score smaller for now remember you can adjust this at will you can also put this in a separate window and toggle back and forth create new and this is going to be the
record. I'll minimize that as well. And in theory, I can then throw in some video capture device and show myself. That way they don't forget that they're being supervised. And I can crop myself. Left and right. Keep on experimenting with the values. Best bet. Move this over a bit. Move this over. And in theory, you already have what you need. So um, that's basically what I do for OBS. You can do again, like you can do a screen with yourself and the note names and the the chord note names and um, other. I'd love to see how you implement this in your oops, slightly higher. I'd love to see how you implement this in your setup. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.